everybody this is the video for um, chapter 6 problem 16 you're assigned the A problem so I'm going to be working with the B problem this problem is mainly to get you prepared to successfully complete the payroll project which actually begins in week 8 so basically what we're given is we're giving a list of transactions like we would for the payroll project and we have to put them into the journal and then the general ledger. So this is going to be a flashback to your early accounting classes, your lower level classes. And so what we're going to do is we're going to work through the transactions together. These are pretty similar to what you're going to have to complete, but the amounts will be different. So this just gives you a basic understanding of how to successfully journalize the transactions. So let's get started. Like you would in previous accounting classes, you're going to put the year and then the month. In this case, it is April where we start. And then we're going to go on and start entering in the transactions. So the first one is April 1st. We are paying the treasurer of the union the amount of union dues withheld. So it's going to be union dues payable. And then it's going to be cash. The post reference is going to come from the general ledgers. So without flipping through them, I'm just going to go ahead and enter in the account numbers. And then union dues payable to see how much is actually that we actually have to pay. We need to go over to the general ledger itself. Scroll down till you find union dues payable. The balance is $100. So that's the amount that we're going to pay. Now you have two ways of doing the ledger. You can either do it as you go along or you can, once you complete all of the journal entries, you can then flip back and forth screens or you can print out the journal page and then you can just mark off the information. If you have a paper book, there should be um, the pages in there as well so that you could manually write out your transactions and then, and then type them in later. There is really pretty much flexibility on this. So let's go down to the next transaction. So this one is going to actually have, see there's one, two, three listed for April 15th, but you're actually going to have four different transactions. You have one that you're going to have to record the where it shows the payroll and the employee taxes, but then you're also going to have to do the employer taxes. This is something to remember definitely when you start on your payroll project. So the first one is going to be wages and salaries. And we are told that it's 8,310. That's an easy one, there's no calculation. We're also told that we're paying federal income taxes. So by that, I mean FICA taxes, payable. We have OASDI. We have FICA taxes payable, HI. We are going to have employees federal income tax employees state income tax and then we're going to have union dues payable and then we're also going to have cash the cash amount we will do once we add up all of the amounts so we know federal income tax is 890 State income tax is 166.20, union dues is 140. So now we have to calculate our OASDI and HI. To do that, we're going to take our 83.10 times 6.2% gives us $515.22. Then we're going to repeat the same procedure to determine our HI. So times 1.45% gives us $120.50.
And now we have to calculate our cash amount. How much are we actually paying employees out of pocket? So 8,310, and we're just going to subtract our taxes out of it. So that gives us $6,478.08. Sure you enter in the correct amounts. Okay, so now we're going to do where we are actually showing the employer taxes. So we're going to have payroll taxes. And we're essentially going to have the same thing. So if we have FICA taxes payable, OASDI, FICA taxes payable, HI, And then we're going to have our FUDA taxes payable, FUDA and SUDA. So we have 8310 times 0.6% gives us 4986 for federal. State percentage is 2.3. So we're going to have 8310 times 2.3% gives us 191.13. And then to figure out the payroll taxes amount, we're just going to add everything together. 515.22 plus 120.50 plus 49.86 plus 191.13. Gives us 876.71. Let's go back to the problem we're working on. So that's the first two transactions. On the 15th, we paid the treasurer out of his state, and the amount of the amount of income taxes withheld from workers during the first quarter. So here we're going to have on the 15th, it is going to be the employees state income tax payable, and then cash. And then, so to get the amount, we're going to look over on the general ledger for this first time. So employees SAT payable is 546.92. So that is the amount, 560. 546. Okay, and so that's all for that transaction. On the 15th, it shows that we electronically transferred the funds to remove the liability for FICA and withheld in March. So again, it's going to be the 15th. We're going to do FICA taxes. OASDI FICA taxes payable HI employees FIT payable and then cash. So FICA taxes payable for OASDI we're going to look at what we have and so it's going to be the balance listed up one thousand sixty-eight dollars and eighty-eight cents. So ten sixty-eight eighty-eight. HI again. We're just going to look. So it's two forty-nine ninety-eight. And then employees FIT payable is eleven twenty-four. And then we're just going to add the amounts up, save some time, let Excel do it. And then there is the amount for that. So now we have three transactions for the rest of April. And it's basically 
going to be very similar to what we've already done. On the 29th, we are repeating the payroll process. So I'm just going to copy and paste the cells. And it will not let me do that. And to make it easier on us, I'm just going to go to the next page. And it should allow me to copy and paste because we will actually need these first two journal entries. There we go. Makes my life so much easier. And so now we know essentially how to do this. We know the pay is $79.75. We know employees federal income tax is $815. State income tax is $151.50, union dues is $135, and then we have to calculate the OASDI and the HI, so $79.75 times 6.2%, $494.45, $79.75 is 1.45 percent is 115.64, and then subtract to find the actual cash amount. Sixty-two, sixty-three, forty-one. Okay, and now we have to repeat the same process that we did on the 15th. Again, it's going to be the same amount for OASDI and DGI. Here we're going to do the 79. times 0.6% gives us 47.85 Oops. 79.75 times 2.3% 183.43 Add the amounts together Eight forty one thirty seven, and then we have one. Let's see, we have to file our quarterly tax return on the twenty ninth. So this one is going to be similar to when we paid the state income tax above, except this time it is going to be the SUDA nine forty one is for the income tax. So we have 940 is federal, 941 is state. So we have FUDA, sorry, we have SUDA taxes payable, and then cash. Again, to get the amount, we're going to look at the ledger. So that's 571.78. And again, this is the same process you're going to do on your final project. The last thing we have to do for the 29th is actually, that was the last thing that we have to do. And so basically everything else for May and June is going to be a repeat of what we've already done. So I'm going to stop the video, fill out the rest of 
the information for May and June, and then the video will pick back up when we start for the general ledger. If you have any questions on this, let me know.